Hello YouTube, Ratchet's here with a little different setup. Usually I do Pokemon, but today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, some of you might know, my favorite um, card game to play, it's not Pokemon, it's actually Vanguard. I have a lot of friends who like Pokemon, so that's where most of my YouTube videos came from. But I'm trying something new, so I'm actually going to do a deck profile on my main Vanguard deck. And I'm going to be trying to get as many... Vanguard videos up as possible for the new reboot that's happening come this summer. So we're going to do my favorite deck. I've been playing this since the very beginning, um, and that is Royal Paladins. So we're taking a look more specifically, Blasters. So we're just going to take the camera down. As you can see, my mat is actually the Springfest 2018. I actually went with this deck. Uh, I did alright, I didn't do as well as I'd hoped, but it was my very very first um, Vanguard event outside of my locals, so I wasn't expecting to do that well. So we're going to start off, and we'll start off with the uh, G-Zone, because that's usually so my plan on the side. So, starting off, we are playing Blasters, so of course we're running two copies of Gancelot. Probably the best first stride because its cost is counter charge, which is not a cost at all, but it is absolutely amazing. Uh, next up, the main beat stick of the G Zone. We're running for um, Alfred Holy Saver because, you know, who doesn't want to give a rear guard blaster blade twin drive? Crazy, you know? Then we run two of. Uh, Divine Knight Ultimile. People give this card a lot of crap. It's actually, it's not a bad card at all. It's not a bad stride if you don't have the Counter Blast to go into something like Alfred. It is really good because A, it gets you a Blaster Blade. It brings Blaster Blade up to um, 17k on its own. If, say, you call Blaster Blade um, Seeker or, or, sorry, Blaster Blade Spirit, it's 21. With the new Blaster Blade coming out, it'll also bring it up to 21. Come with that with Floatal, and it's going to give us some very, very nice combos. Next up for uh, the Anti-Link Joker meta are two Holy Squire Dragons. Let me, it's just there. I really haven't gone into it unless it's against Link Joker. Um, more specifically, Messiahs and Chaos, because they're, they're just mean. Uh, going into the G-Zone, we're running two Marin. Uh, Marin is probably my favorite G-Guard. Soul Blast 1. Call a grade 1 or higher from the deck. Gets 5 shield. I can call Perfect Guard Exalt and get Perfect Guard off with that. It gets around Guard Restrict. It gets around um, a lot of just really, really big things. It gets around um, Harmonix Neo Messiah. I actually did that in a tournament. Someone went into this and Lane Jumper. They went into uh, Neo Harmonix. Couldn't go to grade 1. G Guarded called the Perfect Guard from the deck. Discarded. Perfect Guarded that attack. Which was amazing because they triple critted. So yeah, absolutely love this card. Next up, we're running one Exalt. I don't normally use it, but there are situations where I have, and I've had a full field, and I play this guy, and I get him to massive numbers. Um, it's also great because then we're going into probably uh, the flipping G Guard Mastel. Even though I don't run in the the Mastel heals anymore. It's still a good card. I can flip another G guard if I have a unit in the front row. 10k. Um, originally would get my help with the GB8. Now it helps me ultimate stride um, if I need it, but not necessarily. And then we run one laser guard just for the. Usually it's if I flip it with Mastel or early on. I don't want to waste um, one of these. I will just go into that e easy guarding. Uh, and then finally one. It's in the nice sleeve, but placeholder, because I want to protect this beautiful card. We got one Ultima. Absolutely love Ultima. It makes this deck so much better. Oh, there it goes, Geez. Makes it so amazing. Um, absolutely needed. If you can get it, absolutely get it. It does wonders. Now we're going to go into the main deck with our starter. Of course, it's Wingle Brave. Are you really going to have any other starter in the Blaster deck? Of course not. We run four uh, Blaster Blade Exceed because it is the main stride unit. Actually, 
Melonius, I find I will like to go into Alfred uh, Oath more often because it also does work with all of my G units. Um, it works with a lot of the, th the only thing it does not work with is Barkle and Wingo Brave because it's not a blaster. So that is the only real issue. But in that, in most cases, I will just um, ride exceed over that. I run one Lou just to help get a uh, blaster, uh, blaster card back, either a blaster blade or another exceed. And then probably a lot of people give me rap. I do like to run one blaster blade burst. The reason I run burst is a if I go first, I can get it up to 33k on my on my first attack because it's 13 when it's at the vanguard. 9k from this column, assuming it's a 9k, brings it up to 22. 9k from this column, brings it up to 31. That is, in a sense, about as powerful as a stride unit will be. For a first ride, that's pretty good. And if by chance I do go into Ultima and I don't kill them, it is a decent backup plan. So that is it for the grade 3s. There's 8. Uh, next, going on to the grade 2s, we got 4 of OG Blaster Blade. That's right, all the way from the trial deck. I love this artwork. Um, I'm gonna be, it's going to be sad to see this go. I've had this Blaster Blade in my deck for since I've been playing Vanguard, and now with the 10k coming, uh, I'm going to miss it. Uh, moving on, we're running 3 Lu. Um, 9k gets up to 12k if it's boosted. Boosted by um, any of the other Flodal or Barkle. So either hitting 16 or 19. That 19 is really going to matter in the new format. Um, then we've got two Blaster Blade Spirits. Because A, they're 10Ks. Um, uh, on call, I can retire something. Or on call from the deck, retire something for Counter Blast 1. Really like that. So then going into the grade 1s, we've got two little Tactician Marin, they're great for setting up combos, I can counter blast one, call a bark, they'll give, make it a 10k, call blaster blade, counter charge for free, I've done a 19k column, no issues, I combo with, uh, um, it's very easy to get that uh, 19k column up to 22 without any trouble, or even higher, we run two stride enablers just because you know, um, striding is very important in the deck. Yes, exceed searches, but sometimes you just need that extra little stride enabler. We run four uh, Blaster Friend Barkle because they are the main counter charger of the deck. Um, my favorite, probably my favorite card to get off on the deck is uh, Wingle Youth on hit or when, or when it boosts the unit that hits. Look at the top seven, add Blaster Blade card to your hand, and then put it into the soul. Because this deck does use quite a lot of soul. We then run three copies of the Leanne PG, which is the Soul Blast Perfect Guard. And then we run one copy of Exalt, because that is that helps get us around the Guard District. So that's it for the Great Ones. Getting into triggers for Arondel, because getting to soul is great. For Flodal, because yes, we're going to want to restand those Blaster Blades. Um, for uh, Encourage Angel, I like to run this one just because it makes the Blaster Blade uh, column go from base 9 to um, 12. So that is going to be hitting magic numbers. Um, get two more off, that brings it up to 18. That's hitting another magic number. Uh, not only that, Stan goes back into the deck to restand that Blaster Blade, which is amazing. And then finally, four of uh, Remedy Angel, the new heal PG that lets us counter charge or soul charge. Usually, it's just going to be to soul charge or to counter charge because this deck is very counter blast heavy. That being said, it's not that heavy because if you um, reserve, you're never going to run out of counter blast. Uh, so that is it for the main deck. Uh, Keep an eye out when the new trial deck comes. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that, and I'm actually going to be doing an upgrade of that deck with this deck to um, for pr the premium standard format. So, hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Roxas, signing off.